So I'm joined by Mr. Deepak Mittal, Managing Director, International Tractor Limited, which has India's third largest tractor selling brand, Sonalika. Now the company is trying to enter into a market which is very tough for Indian manufacturer, that is China. How, how did you get the idea of entering into a market like China to export tractors especially? We have already covered about 80 countries. So now but China is one of the biggest market. After India, this is the biggest market in the world. So if you don't, uh, if we don't cover China, so we don't get a bigger growth in the international market. So we were very uh, happy with the response we got here in China. We never uh, could imagine this so what, type of response. what were the uh, hindrances that you uh, felt while you're trying to enter into a market uh, as competitive as like China? We thought of that uh, it would be very difficult to get into China, but it was not like that. Uh, China market is already ready for a good product like us and uh, we are looking for a good product, uh, good quality product and uh, the other things are helping us, supporting us like the labor cost has gone high in the China. So their uh, product has gone costlier. So Chinese market is currently, if we talk about above 30 HP, yeah. it's about 4 lakh units. You are right. What kind of market share you expect to get there and how long will it take for you? We wish to have 10% market share in China. And uh, we have a target of 5 years. And it looks to be very much practical and uh, possible. So going forward, currently your 30% uh, of revenue comes from exports market. Going right. forward, what, how does it look, the combination of exports versus domestic production? Actually, it is helping each other. Like uh, last two years were not good for the tractor industry in India. So we could uh, maintain our uh, good profitability of the company on that growth uh, in export. We were not getting any growth in India. It was rather going down. So that helped you manage yes. your balance sheet. Uh, uh, so this is one of the, I think, mantras wherein you have yeah. been able to uh, maintain a strong balance sheet. What are the other areas, what are the other, you know, things that help you maintain a very strong balance sheet? And what has been your profit margin so far? Actually, basically, uh, our uh, purchase uh, is good because we are good pay masters. We, uh, we are debt-free company. The other thing is that we have the best uh, efficiency output of the labor in uh, our plant. We have the least uh, number of workers with the maximum production. And uh, then we have those uh, good basic uh, golden principles. What are those, uh, if you could share a few? We always uh, maintain uh, practice uh, uh, that uh, low inventories to keep the low cost. And uh, we, uh, we spend on the basics which are uh, required. Okay. Yeah. You are also going for modernization of your plant. You are putting yes. out a new plant which you claim to be the world yes. largest yes. Uh, yes. tractor manufacturing plant. Could you yes. please uh, give us a sneak peek into what kind of modernization yeah. you are going to introduce into this? How efficient this plant is going to be? So, well, as you said, this is the world's largest plant. In, when we talk about the production capacity. So uh, it will uh, produce 500 tractors in a day uh, and uh, cycle time is every two minutes a new tractor will come out of the plant. So but it is not only about the production capacity. So when we talk about the technology and quality, so technology wise this is now one of the latest and best tractor plant in the world. So you will have same number of manpower, but you will produce 500 units instead yes. of 300 units that yes. you are producing from your older yeah. plant. That yes. is what you are trying we to We are say. not uh, going to increase the manpower. Uh. So when we talk about the technology, it, is, it has a robotic uh, build shop. And the uh, build shop is basically uh, this uh, electronic uh, deposit, we call it uh, uh, ED build shop. Which so is means you are normally getting into more into automation, 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 more automation. It is automation way. also, but it is not only the automation. It is going to increase Quality. the life of the product 
and it will now give us a good quality which is required in the Western Europe markets like France, UK, where we are selling our tractors. Uh, we have seen overall uh, tractor industry has been plagued, the sales was going yeah. uh, southward. How do you look at it? Do you think the prediction of a good monsoon will help us? It will. Okay. So what kind of uh, uh, growth you expect in India? The market has already started growing, tractor industry in India. So if you see the data of the last two, year, two months, it is uh, growing already. And uh, the way the monsoon is uh, just uh, going to happen, as has been predicted, the good monsoon. So uh, I'm very hopeful that uh, good growth will be there even in the new market. Uh, last two questions. When yeah. you say go on to sell tractors, what are the challenges the manufacturer faces? And what, uh, how somebody can face up and how somebody can cope up with so those challenges? Actually, the one of the major challenges is that everything is changing very fast nowadays. The customer behavior, the markets, the new team players are coming. Now most of the international brands are present in India in a big way. We are to compete with them also. So uh, the biggest challenge I would like to say is uh, competing with the global companies and uh, to maintain ourselves as an Indian company. So how do you compete with them? What, are, what is the mantra? We still now we are able to compete with them. Uh, like uh, if you talk about John Deere New Holland, we have much bigger market share than that. So, so you became uh, number three uh, in India, uh, outselling Scots. Yes. What's your rightful place in the next coming year? Where do you see yourself? So presently, though, we are just uh, increasing our market share year on year, like we have grown by 2%. And we wish to expand again, grow again by 2% in the next year. So next year you expect to be 14 percent? Something like... Uh, of the market share? Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. 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 Mr.